Morning, I'm Helen Kilgannon, an Associate Director with the Advanced Equality Alliance. We're here today in Manchester to talk about positively harnessing your workforce with Jeremy Scrivens. And in our cells, we're working with our partners, North West Leadership Academy, Mersey Internal Audit, to deliver what should be a really thought-provoking day. Uh, today has been great because it makes a real change to have a positive outlook on issues rather than start with the problem and then look at terms and how we resolve it but to have that sort of positive perspective right from the start. So, so one of the things that was really powerful today was that we took time out to reframe the conversations that we have um, in our organisations. You know, I've been brought up with the idea that there's a leader um, and we've been taught to see our organisations as problems uh, and, and so we have the language of problem solving and we break and we break things down and we isolate and we look for the for, for the things that aren't working well and what I've come to understand is that the more we do that two things happen the more we focus on fixing things and we never stop to th ask the question what could we do differently um, but we also disengage people because because we we, we, we people people f feel feel defensive about what's happening and they feel non empowered to be able to change it Okay, so my main takeaway message from the event so far has just strengthened my opinion really that for any innovation or improvement work we really need to come at it from a positive engagement approach and whole system approach and look at what's great in our systems rather than starting off with the negative. Um, the th probably the top three takeaway for me is look at internal positive stuff that's already worked because for every problem we face the chances are it will have worked perhaps in the past, that's the first one. Second one is probably absolutely uh, fundamental, is collaboration. Um, being governor for about three years, I've noticed that the NHS is quite a complex organisation. And today the buzzword is integration, I think. But I think the key thing is the bottom-up, really bottom-up uh, collaboration. Uh, and the third one is build on personal relationship and social media and social room. That's the most effective way. The question I asked this morning was, do you spend more time? on that which you wish to avoid or that which you wish to accomplish. And of course the reality is that most of us have put in these various systems and, and compliance regimes and KPIs. They actually focus more on punishing us for doing, uh, letting one bad thing slip through the system than, than on extending and elevating and talking about the good and then how, how we can do more of that. And we need to change that now. And the only way we can do that is to have a positive conversation and one that looks at strengths and, and to elevate strengths. And so I was excited and very, 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 very sort of, yeah, just, just impressed with how quickly the guys picked it up today. Um, so one thing I've learned so far this morning um, is around the need to really focus on the appreciative inquiry. I think we do it in part already, but not consistently enough and certainly not framed around the, the continual positive side of the things that we do well and how can we do them better. Um, so that's one thing I'll certainly be taking back to some events we've got planned for next week. I think the main thing for me and something we've been talking about a lot that's been really affirmed today is the difference between the leader as a hero who has all of the answers and the leader as a host who thinks that lots of different people have part of the solution. And we were talking about Twitter before, um, simply the We Nurses community. And I just feel that like I'm at the stage where I can't do my job without Twitter because it's something about hosting those conversations in a way that lots of people can join in with as equals. It's a great way of collaborating. It doesn't matter what your job title is. And you can just share your views and meet other people to come up with solutions together and then put them into practice in the real world. And that's really kind of stuck with me after today. We've had a really inspirational day today with Jeremy. He's given us some real insights on how to collaborate at scale, but just not, in, not insights, but some real practical skills for us to take away with us. It was, I felt it was a great day. The conversations were brilliant, people engaged, um, and there was a real sense of, we, we've got something now we can take away in our organisations and our communities to build on and, and to really see a new level of collaboration. Uh, for positive change in, 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 in Manchester and, and the surrounding areas and, and not just health but it'll go actually brought across that in, into the community so I think today's been more than worth it it's been a really really exciting day.